Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope that you're all having a really wonderful day thus far. And so, uh, as you would have seen from the thumbnail and the title, Ian was actually a Category 5 hurricane last year. And so, before I get into details about it, please do subscribe if you haven't done so already and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update. Okay guys, and so uh, later in this video, of course, you're going to be taking a look at what is currently happening uh, across the Caribbean if you're curious about that. But in terms of Ian, so usually after the hurricane season, uh, there are analyses that are done and when meteorologists revisited data and reanalyzed data from last season when Hurricane Ian was around, they actually realized that the storm was a bit stronger than initially thought. Now, the initial intensity was 155 miles per hour making it a high-end category 4 hurricane and just about two miles per hour shy of being a cat 5 however uh, during that final analysis it was actually seen that Ian was a bit stronger and had attained winds of 160 miles per hour and so with that confirmation that Ian was a cat 5 about seven hours or so before landfall in Florida it became the first Category 5 hurricane since Lorenzo of 2019. So not even the most active season on record in 2020 produced a Category 5 hurricane, neither did 2021. But last year, uh, Ian became a Category 5 hurricane before making landfall in Florida. And so uh, that's even though that's just a minor change in terms of wind speeds, it was still a very devastating storm. I mean, so much damage was done. Uh, it's one of the costliest cyclones ever and of course recently that name was retired and replaced with Idris and so guys as it relates to the current uh, weather conditions across the Caribbean we can see here that there isn't much taking place right now we've got some activity uh, moving in and that might induce some brief showers across sections of the Lesser Antilles as we drift to the west we can see that little cloud cluster right in the vicinity of southern Haiti and and, uh, over parts of eastern Jamaica right now so uh, we're not seeing a lot of those colors to indicate a lot of convective activity taking place so, so nothing major as we progress throughout today however as we progress into the latter part of this week we're going to still see that rainfall increase that I talked about in previous updates and so as we take a look at the weather view of the North Atlantic we can see that things are a little bit uh, messy out there in terms of activity now in the vicinity of the northeastern Caribbean we're going to be seeing uh, the development of some showers and thunderstorms and that is going to be helping to induce the rainfall totals across those areas and looking at this map right here now this is the 24-hour precipitation accumulation in inches from the euro model and we can see here that as we're going to be heading into tomorrow and especially going into Thursday we're going to be seeing some of those higher totals across uh, most of the northeastern Caribbean so likely consistent rainfall as we're going to be heading into the end of this week so if you guys have been longing for some rainfall activity it is on the horizon but of course in the event of a lot of heavy rainfall flooding can also take place which poses a threat to human life so please be aware of all of that happening but of course i'm going to talk about this in a bit more depth as we head into tomorrow and as the rainfall uh, increase happens and so guys that is pretty much it for this update and if you have any questions feel free to leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there and of course remember to always be with wise